Hey guys, Bad Doing It, this is Nine here. Just wanted to show you guys a first look on my newest um, quadcopter, the SEMA X11. Uh, not the camera version, just the regular X11. I got a great deal on it from uh, Gearbest. Uh, I think I paid $25. Don't remember if it's US, I think it's US, so about $30 Canadian. Uh, I should have used the coupon code. There was a coupon code that came came with it, so I uh, wish I used that, but I still get that coupon code. If I really like it, I might order another one. So I'm just gonna take it out of the box, show you guys how it comes out of the box. I actually did an unboxing video, but I didn't think it was that good, so I just forget about it. But if you guys want me to upload the uh, unboxing video, I could always do that. It's just me struggling with a knife to <laughs> open up the packages. So. Um, Here's how it come out of the box. Uh, I took the red version, so uh, there's the battery, the um, controller, spare props. I got how much? Yeah, four spare props in there, so that's good. So let's take it out and let's see how it is. Oh, I still got some tapes on the side here. Huh. All right, so there's still some tape here, and that's one. And that's two, so it should be good. Unless there's some more tapes here, which there are. Man, there's, there's tapes everywhere on that thing, which I guess is good for you, protecting the, the quad. All right, so one more piece of tape here should do it. Yes, I should have did that before, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's take out the controller, Xbox 360 style, so I'm going to be familiar with the controller. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun to fly. So a little bit of a resistance on the, uh, I think there's a little bit more than my, yeah, a little bit more resistance on the stick than on my uh, WL toy stick, so... I don't know if I can adjust that or anything. Or don't think so. Just a little bit more resistance on that. So, all right. So let's see for the quadcopter itself. Um, first, I'm gonna take out the battery. Small 200 milliamp hour battery, which I got plenty of batteries, so that is gonna be pretty much useless. Uh, charger, screwdriver. So it's always fun to have another charger for that. But charger I got plenty. My WL toys which charge two at a time. Small screwdriver that's practical. Uh, like I said, the four props I might leave that in there. So let's take it out. The quadcopter itself. So first I'm gonna leave the um, the prop guard on. Uh, I saw a video uh, from Flying Ryan RC that he's using the. Um, the quad to go up in the ceiling and just there's a little bit of issue with that I think I'm gonna raise those a uh, little prop guard here to uh, to make so that it doesn't contact the ceiling if it goes up so uh, this thing was in the cold though that's that's one thing I hate man is when they ship stuff to me it's always in the cold so let's see if one of my regular batteries let's see if an Opson 380 battery is gonna fit in there nicely so this is a Hopson 380 battery so I try to put that in there. Come on, doesn't want to fit that away. So there's a little tab there for pressure. So I'm gonna have to angle it up, angle it down. Oh yeah, all right. It fits. It fits pretty snugly in there, but it fits. So, so to take it off, it's not so bad. So I get that little tab. But you can can you press that down a little bit more? Oh yeah, you could press that down to. Uh, put that a little bit more sorry I'm not in frame guys okay let's redo this so I'm gonna insert that in there so you guys can see a nice little close-up of the battery going in so you have a little tab on the bottom which I think you can press but it's more of a spring tension so now I gotta press up on the battery and insert it at an angle but it goes in there pretty nice and smooth so plenty of space too to put the battery a little bit more than my uh, GJRC so that's fun so I got another type of battery, this is a Nanotech, uh, 30G Nanotech, which, man, now they got some LiPo restriction on Hobby King. It costs a little bit more, it would cost me $20 shipping to get one of these $2 batteries. So 
Let's see if it fits nicely in there. Oh yeah, it fits just perfect. So let's see if I fit it on the other side here. There's protection for the circuit board, a little bit more protection than the... Uh, oh yeah, this fits perfect. This is going to be nice to fly with that too. So this is a 300 milliamp 35C battery. So, woo, this thing packs a punch, a real big punch. So I'm going to have to do some testing with this battery compared with, you know, other types of battery. This is a UDI. Uh, this is a 25C battery. I'm going to show you guys my LiPo collection here. Just two seconds. I'm just, I'm just want to do a size comparison real quick. Uh, it's going to be a long vid. So this is uh, the GJRC versus the Saima. So I'm going to place it here on the side so you can see a little comparison. I'm going to put it on the ground here. Just let me angle the camera back like that. So let's take that on the side. So let's put the controllers too right here in the meantime for the two. So we can compare a little bit of the controller with the... Uh, let me re-angle that, so click. So you can see a little bit of size difference um, from the controller. Uh, one thing I noticed is that the controller here is a little bit more uh, easy to uh, to use for that. So, uh, am, I am I even recording? Cancel. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm recording. I hope I'm recording at least. Damn. Anyways, just my camera. I just messed up. Let's change the settings. I hope I'm not talking for nothing here. So, all right, guys. So um, I'm gonna go uh, ahead and put some some batteries in the controller and try to uh, use that. Just want to show you guys my little uh, lipo collection here, real quick. I'm just gonna move that and. Click, click, click. So this is my LiPo collection up to now for this little quad. So plenty of stuff. Two Turney G like that. I got an Opson. I got the Saima battery. So uh, plenty of little battery. But these little Turney G Nanotech, dude, these are the most fun to fly with, I think. Uh, it's just a shame that uh, Hobby King doesn't, you know, do any more LiPo shipping. So I have to order lots of stuff from them for it to be um, to be worth the money to order these uh, batteries so otherwise it's gonna cost me 30 bucks for a two dollar battery so Hobby King if you're listening and you want to send me a couple of batteries that would be appreciated so right now guys I'm gonna just log off and see you guys on the next one I'm just gonna put some batteries in there and see if the minus like minus 10 degree Fahrenheit cold didn't destroy my controller or my uh, my quadcopter so Hopefully not. The cold won't have affected too much. I'll let 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 it overnight to warm warm up inside my house. So hopefully this will do the job. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward in the future to flight videos and review on the SEMA X11. So alright guys, have a nice one.